I do have skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. You know, so, so I think it starts. It starts that way. I didn't come out of my car to talk to you with a with an opinion or an attitude. No, an attitude. no. And we, I was. I genuinely asked questions. Hey, you guys want to talk to me or no? And generally, we no thanks, and we keep walking because it winds up being about how no power and control. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys. We're just going to drop you a copy of this 12 page document into Paula Bennett's office. Discovered a few flaws with the infringement process. Um, process? The infringement of things. Okay, yeah. Um, I've sent this to Chris, per uh, Chris Pink, to Mike Bush, and to Stuart Nash, being the Commissioner of Police. Um, I want to actually make sure that every Member of Parliament has it mm -hmm. and gets it. Um, I'm going to be going through getting emails for everybody to do it that way as well, but I was in the area, so I thought I'd give you a hard copy. Okay. Um, it basically. Uh, Can you email? Yeah, of course, I will do. Uh, do you have an email, a card with an email? Yes, it'll it'll save me having a look um, at it. Are the, um, the best way to get to all the MPs is email. Yeah. Because the hard copies get locked. Whereas email and it's on record. Mm. You know, well, it's on record anyway that I've given it to you, so. No, yeah, no, but that can get locked on the There's not on the lock zone here. Oh, yeah. Um, More the merrier. But yeah. If you don't know, you can't fix it. It's, it's, that's so true. Mm. There, there's her email there. Now, every Groovy. MP, yep. look. Oh, it's just the name. It's a government. name dot and sure. parliament. Every same with the police. Same. Yeah. yeah, same as that. Yeah. Okay, I'll give, uh, um, Paula won't be able to next week, but I'll, I'll, I'll pass it by here. And it's all groovy. It, it basically covers the fact that um, I got a alleged speeding ticket on the motorway on the temporary 80k area. Isn't that annoying? <laughs> Well, it's for them to prove. I'm yeah. naturally presumed innocent. Okay. So, um, as you are, it's the burden of proof lies yeah. on the person making the claim. I've studied law for five years, um, and I've spent 80, over 80 hours in the last two weeks going through 15 different legislative acts, okay. um, itemising exactly where they've gone wrong in my case. But I would also point out that the police prosecution so far, just going through what they've supplied me in initial and full disclosure, um, mm -hmm. there's at least 30 breaches where they haven't given me anything, responded, okay. and the same with the registry. The registry's failed as well because they should also have a record okay. of everything that's filed from the prosecution. Yes, So he, he's your MP? Well, he's the electorate's MP, he's not mine. <laughs> well, he is, because you're part of the electorate. The electorate is the people? Yeah, yeah, granted. But to prove that, you would have to supply evidence of my person being registered on the electoral roll, wouldn't you? No, not at all. Well, it's presumed, then. No, 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 it's not. The, the, um, the, the electorate is all the people in that area. I'm hoping... And this person represents all those people, even if you're not on the roll. Really? Even if you're from overseas or whatever, of course, that's because that's what we do. Well, I didn't know that. Because, yeah. as far as I know, consent is through the, you know, consent of the government, no, 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 so to speak. No, no, but he's there to help you. 
Yeah, granted. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying you wouldn't. Um, my point is, though, that like I've been having an ongoing dispute with the Electoral Commission now since 2012, saying I'd be happy to register because, you know, Section 82 of the Electoral Act, you've got to be on the roll, otherwise it's a $100 fine or 200 for reoccurring. Um, and I'm happy to do that, provided I could be given some proof of obligation that I have to be registered on the thing. Now, they say oh, you that must. That is law. It states that you must. Yeah, but in, in, a direct, in, a, in a directive sense or a, or a sense where you're giving direction in some form, legally the word must is synonymous with may. So you may or may not. No, but you must by law. Must, again, oh. means may or may not, legally right, speaking. But it's just being pedantic, isn't it? Well, it's, it's, no, a, it's, a, it's, a, semantic, it's a semantic argument, yeah, and it's not pedantic because, I mean, we're controlled by words on a bit of paper and okay. mankind acting upon well, it. So. That's um, all right. That for you. Cool, thank you very much. Okay. Cheers. wants to try and argue with me, does she? It's in the law. So, I want to see where she states it's in the law. And she wants to claim that that's just being pedantic. Hmm. Policy provision of the state, I believe. Good luck.